Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover uh, adapter design pattern introduction. This adapter design pattern falls under the category of uh, structural patterns. First we will see the explanation of adapter design pattern. Uh, this is the first explanation I will just read out. Adapter pattern works as a bridge between two incompatible interfaces. This pattern involves a single class called adapter which is responsible for communication between two independent or incompatible interfaces. Okay, I will uh, read out the second explanation. An adapter helps two incompatible interfaces to work together. Okay, we will see one example so that uh, you will understand this uh, explanation very clearly. So, in the right side you can see third party billing system and uh, left side you can see a client which is uh, existing HR system. And uh, these two systems are incompatible. How it is uh, incomp uh, incompatible uh, we can see. No, okay. So here uh, you can see a uh, third party billing system has one functionality called process salary. It accepts uh, array list of uh, employee. Okay. So what this method does is uh, uh, it will uh, take employee list and iterate uh, employee list uh, array list. Okay. And it will get each employee and calculate the salary of each employee and it will uh, deposit. Uh, the particular employee salary into the uh, bank account okay so that is what uh, this method does okay and the left side you can see HR system and it has employee information as a string array okay and HR system uh, wants to process uh, uh, salary of uh, employees okay uh, then uh, what this HR system has to do is it has to call this process salary method okay but if you see uh, left side uh, like uh, HR system uh, it has employee information as a string array but what third party billing system expect is array list of employee right so this HR system cannot make call to the third party billing system right because string array uh, it has but it uh, this third party billing system accept only list so uh, we cannot make a uh, call from uh, HR system to third party billing system that is not possible so these uh, two systems are incompatible so how we can uh, make it work uh, this two incompatible interface we can use uh, adapter design pattern okay so we have to introduce uh, adapter in between uh, HR system and the third party billing system okay so then uh, what this HR system will do is uh, it will send uh, uh, employee information as a string array to the adapter right then what this adapter uh, does is uh, it will uh, read employee information from the string array and uh, uh, populate employee object and put it in the array list and it will make array list of uh, employees okay then this adapter will send this array list of employee to the uh, process salary method. Then process salary method will calculate uh, each employee uh, uh, salary and it will deposit uh, employee salary into the bank account. Okay. So in this way, uh, we can uh, we can make uh, these two incompatible interfaces to work together. Okay. With the help of adapter, we can uh, achieve right. Okay, uh, now uh, if you read uh, this explanation, you can understand very clearly. Adapter pattern works as a bridge between two incompatible interfaces. This pattern involves single class called adapter which is responsible for communication between two independent or incompatible interfaces. Uh, like I have explained, uh, this adapter is a uh, bridge between this uh, HR system and the third party billing system and uh, this adapter uh, make sure uh, these two incompatible interfaces are working together right and second explanation an adapter helps two incompatible interfaces to work together uh, so that we have already seen right and one more important point is uh, this HR system uh, don't want to change uh, uh, their code and also this third party building system also uh, don't want to change their uh, code so in that situation we can use adapter okay and uh, 
and uh, this is about uh, adapter design pattern introduction and i have created uh, separate videos for uh, adapter uh, design pattern uh, real time example adapter design pattern class diagram and sequence diagram uh, video tutorial and adapter design pattern implementation video tutorial uh, please log into my channel and uh, watch those videos uh, to understand more about this adapter design pattern okay and thanks for watching bye